Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Personal Series 3 Rack Console. Yeah, and this is episode 4. And on this episode, we are going to be talking about how to hook up your Personal's Rack Console to a Wi Fi and um, to your laptop or any mobile device. And also hook up this device to your laptop through USB cable. So, um, but before we do that, I want to you know talk about some of the necessary softwares that we need or you need to make you know the communication between your laptop and um, the device the first one is the personal's um, uc surface this uc surface is um, a software that helps you control the the unit itself your mixer so it does it's basically the soul of your mixer because that is where you have your preamp controls, your level controls, your EQ, your compressors, your outputs, and all of that. That's where you handle all of those stores. The second um, software, while it is not really, really necessary to have or download, but it is really important because this software is used for multi-track recording or as some people call it, multi-track track recording. So it it's very handy because if you have the opportunity to record you know multi-track maybe in a show it's easier to use this you know software because of its you know abilities and because it is has been designed by personas for personas products yeah and the third software we are going to download and install will be the firmware update the reason why we have to do this is because if you're getting the unit you know new you might have issues with you know latency in metering and that's really not good so most times you really don't know exactly you know what to mix because it's kind of not in time yeah so it might be an issue mixing for someone like me so i don't know about you but i really do not want an issue like that i want to make sure that i have instantaneous metering while the sound is coming into the console i can see you know the signals on my my laptop iphone or you know any device at all so i'm going to take you now to the personal's website so we can download all the necessary softwares so you, do, you don't worry about following this particular method because i'm going to leave a link on the description area so come to download and yeah so this is where we can download all necessary softwares like i said universal control the capture and the firmware so this firmware update is that my last updated january this year um 31st january 2022 so this is the latest firmware update I don't know if I have the latest firmware update, but I think I do. So um, this is where you select your OS. If you're using a, a Mac-based, you know, system, this is where you get them. Select your OS, and you know, it gives you the appropriate, you know, software for that OS. So it works. There's no issue. Then, if you're using Windows, you can, you know, select from this. I don't know who use who use XP these days, but never can tell. So, but this is the software and this is their latest release. So this was released May 10, 2022, September 2021. So Capture has always been very, very, very useful. So I don't think there there's much update that would be there, but that would be needed. But UC control has been a bit buggy here and there, but lately it's been working perfectly well for me so you have to download this once you click on it it downloads so i have them downloaded already so i don't need to download again so you download all three once you are done downloading all three then you can install so the first thing you need to install is the use the universal control software and i already have mine installed and it looks like this looks like this so right now it's you can actually check um for demo um 
you can click on this so it gives you a demo letting you know how the interface would look like if you have your own installed so but if you have your own installed it is going to take up the interface of that your unit not exactly this but this is the idea this is the environment that you're going to find yeah so that's that's it so next thing i'm going to do right now is to show you guys actually how to hook up this using wi-fi or usb so then we move on from there thank you so to connect this unit wirelessly you need three things one is the console itself the second thing you need is a router this is mine and the third thing you need is an ethernet cable just like this so i'll be connecting this console to the router with the ethernet cable so let's do that now first of all you want to power on the units putting it on then while you're waiting for it to come on completely you want to connect this the adapter to adapter or adapter to it your wi-fi is on rather so you wait a bit for it to load so while it's loading you connect your okay let me use this again. you connect this guy here to one of the lan inputs I hope you can see okay yeah so you connect it to one of the lan inputs then connect the other end on the control area yeah not the usb not the network audio the control so it clicks once it clicks it begins to blink the light here begins to blink so you know that the connection is working so the next thing we have to do now is to head over to your laptop or your phone or whatever device you're using then you find this network it's as simple as that so this is how you hook up the Prisoners 32R to a network so you can control wirelessly. To connect the unit to your laptop through USB, all you need to do is get the USB cable. Um, when you buy this product, you get one, I think get one i've been using this product for like a year so i can't really remember what that came with it but i know it comes with a power cable and i think a usb cable then manuals and you know that's all basically and serial number and the rest so all you need is the usb cable you connect the usb cable on the usb port so remember i said you can use this connection for both multi-tracking and also for control so but i'm not going to be showing you anything about multi-tracking right now i'm going to be showing you all about control and later in this series we'll be talking about multi-tracking so once you have this connected here and you connect this to your macbook or your windows based system so for a macbook users you do not need to have any driver installed so you, all you need to do is plug and play after you are done installing the UC Surface software. And for the Windows users, I think it's the same thing because the UC Surface software has all the drivers inside of it. So I think once you install, you have everything installed on your system. So you just connect and play. So let's head over to my laptop as I show you what to do after this process. Now we are done, you know, hooking up this unit. So currently I have hooked up the unit for Wi-Fi and also USB simultaneously. So we can choose which of them we want to use. 
So what I'm going to do right now is turn on the unit so and turn on my Wi-Fi. My USB cable is already hooked up on into my you know laptop. So let me show you that first before I turn on my Wi-Fi. So I'm waiting for it to load to boot whichever one you call it. So once it's done, you know, booting the power lights indicator lights stops blinking and changes to blue. And as you can see on my screen, you can find the unit itself. So this is exactly what you see. And it tells you my serial number which i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to hide and it shows you every other thing it shows you the format output input clock source sample rates so and um, so what you now do is click on anywhere around here and this is what you find okay so this is not a brand new unit so i already have some you know processing done on it before now so let's move to updating so now let's move to updating this unit so how do we update this unit the first thing you do is come to this button here this setting button here you click on it and you have something like this so there are two ways to do this either you click on here and log in to the prisoners you know in your website you can create an account once you have a product like this you get you can create an account so you can have certain plugins for free sure you get so um but what i want to do is i'll look for where i have my updates installed show folder so this is where it is so all I need to do now is drag and drop. So what you see is it begins to copy new firmware to device. So this firmware, my firmware is 2.5.8. Let me see. 2.5 point. Okay. This looks a bit old. But let's see what happens. Firmware version 2.5 eight four four okay i think it's the same just that the one is not there so it's copying new firmware to device so while it's doing this your power button your power indicator light begins to blink kind of yellowish white color so you just have to hold on and once your control is connected once the uc surface is connected to your laptop and once they are both synchronizing properly the control indicator light shows blue from red to blue so don't forget that it shows blue so while we wait we have like 30 seconds more for that information to for the update to you know be complete do not switch off the unit do not switch off the unit and make sure the light is not going off anytime soon so it would be best you have a ups so because of you understand what i mean so it's done and my mixer is still loading Still updating internally so what it happens is the console reboots itself so it shuts down and come on again it comes on again so you can see that my workstation area is out so it's going to come back once the mixer comes back fully on i'll get that you know Ah, okay so we are back so all i need to do is click on this guy again and voila so it's still the same update like i said i've updated before so just for 
actual sake I have to do that so you can see for yourself so now this is the setting area and um, this is basically how to update your firmware on your Prisoner Series 3 rack console and you can do this for any Prisoner Series 3 console not just the rack console this is the same for any Prisoner Series 3 console okay now you know how to update your firmware yeah so um, remember I told you the connection we have currently is the USB connection so let us switch to the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi should be on so all I need to do is turn on my you know Wi-Fi here on my system and this is ice.net yeah so now we have I can click on this and there's no cable connected and I also have my you know stuff controlled so um, I'm sure you can see that it's really easy there's nothing difficult about this so remember you can always watch this video again to you know follow in case you don't fully understand watch it again if you have any question don't forget to ask on the comment section before i go there's one more thing i just want to show you a bit of the capture software so i have it installed so remember this is the uc surface this is where you control your like levels inputs outputs you know auxiliaries you know matrix mixes all of those good stuff so this is what we'll be talking about fully from now henceforth till the end of this series then i can talk about some other beautiful stuff that you guys need to know so but before i go let me just show you what the capture software look like so i have all my mixers softwares here my x uh, x32 and the capture and this is my sound card here the Stenberg sound card so this is how the capture looks like so all i need to do you can see once i have this guy loaded it tells me what personas hardware i have it shows me exactly the hardware so i think there's some kind of coding so it can detect which hardware is connected to it so if you have I'm a full board console it shows you that this is a full board console if you have a 16 arrow console it shows you that this is a 16 arrow console so all you need to do is click record and once you click record it begins to record everything based on how you have labeled let me show you here based on how you've labeled here so if you see if you check here you see kick one and two you see hi -hat. this is hi -hat. this is you know just based on how you've labeled so it gives you like it's kind of very fast and it doesn't stop once this recording is locked it doesn't stop recording except you unlock it and you stop it you see it's really useful for life you know purpose so there's no mistake maybe while you were trying to click on something and you mistakenly click on this record button so it's not going to i'm clicking on it right now so except i unlock it then click on it before you can stop recording so that's one you know extra feature that i love about this product and this company yeah so thank you for listening please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like and share and you know leave a comment down there and you know just say something beautiful about these videos and i hope it's really informative for you guys thank you for watching again